Hey folks, it's Pat here. I got a chapter seven question that I want to cover real quick, and that's this one: confidence intervals for the population mean use of the standard normal distribution. And so this problem here, um, you're going to do a lot of confidence intervals over the next couple topics. And so if you get this one right, um, a lot of the other ones make a lot more sense. All right. So when we create a confidence interval, what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample mean, and then using the standard deviation of whatever whatever standard deviation we know. In this case, we know the population standard deviation. We can actually construct an interval where we can predict where the population mean falls between those two. And we do that by calculating an interval using our standard deviation, our sample size, and you know how sure we want to be, our confidence level. All right, to calculate a bandwidth where we know that mean falls somewhere in between those two given our mean. And so we're going to take our sample mean, add an interval to it, subtract an interval to it. Those are upper and lower limits. Okay, that's the basic, very basic principle behind all confidence intervals. And so um, let's get started with um, this one where we know what the population standard deviation is. That's the first thing you always have to check in these problems is if whether or not you know what the population standard deviation is. It'll say that somewhere in the problem. Sometimes it won't refer to it directly as the population standard deviation, but in this one, for example, we're studying everybody in Alaska, and so we know that everybody in Alaska has a standard deviation of whatever this is, okay? I mean, you can read the backstory if you want. <laughs> right. But using that, we're going to pull out four pieces of information. We need to know what the mean is, we need to know what our sample size is, we need to know what our standard deviation is, and we need to know what our confidence level is. And so using all four of those pieces of information, we can either plug those into to the Alex calculator here or we can plug them into the spreadsheet that I built and put in the module 3 folder. You can use that one too. Let's do the calculator first. You're going to use this formula which is pretty straightforward. This is your mean plus or minus whatever your z-score lookup is uh, multiplied by the division of your standard deviation over the square root of whatever your sample size is. Pretty straightforward. I mean, it looks a little janky, but it's 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 pretty easy to do in the calculator. Let me show you. All right, so you start with your mean, so which in this case is 103, that guy right there, and then hit this plus minus button, and then we're going to do a z-table lookup using the 99% confidence level. So using the 99% confidence interval, is remember in order to get a z-value, two values of z that are plus or minus around a given probability, uh, we need to actually take that probability, one minus that probability, so dot 01 in this case, and then split it in half between the two, so dot 005. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If not, go back to that chapter seven problem. What was it? It's a standard normal values basic where there's quite a few problems like that and you'll see exactly what I mean here in just a sec. Or you can use a spreadsheet. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. All right. But anyway, we take that Z table look up and then multiply it by um, our standard deviation, which is uh, 39. Oops, 39 divided by the square root of our sample size, which is 100. Okay. Now you need to hit arrow key twice here and then give me a close parenthesis that'll get you out of from underneath that equation. Um, if you hit enter after that, you get an undefined error, which is really frustrating. <laughs> okay. So just remember that arrow, arrow, then close parenthesis and donezo. There we go. So here's our two values, our upper and our lower. And so punch those in. It wants one decimal place. So 92.9.93.0. Oh, on this one, and this one is 11.30. 1130. It might yell at me because I put zeros in there, but whatever. Okay, so make sure that this lower one is actually lower than your mean, and make sure this one is actually higher than your mean. All right, if those are not true, okay, you did it wrong or you got them backwards. Okay, so always double check that before you hit this check button. Okay, all right, so that's how you use the Alex calculator to do these. You can also do it using the spreadsheet that I downloaded or that I uploaded into the module 3 folder. And that looks like, um, hang on, wait for it. That looks like this. Yes, here we go. <laughs> okay. And so um, when you download this spreadsheet, understand that there are multiple calculators and each one's on a different tab. Okay. And so when you know what the population standard deviation is, you're doing a Z's table lookup on this one. Make sure that you're using this tab right here, population standard deviation. Okay. Down the road, we'll use the T distribution. That's where we don't know what population standard deviation is. All we know is sample standard deviation. Then you're going to use this calculator. Likewise, down the road, there's one on proportions, there's one on sample size, there's one on sample size. With proportions okay so make sure that you're using the right tab okay um, 
if you know what tab that you, you you're supposed to use then this part here is really explanatory and you can actually cruise through these problems in probably an evening using this spreadsheet uh, which is why i built it for you <laughs> all right so this one right here uh, we need to know four pieces of information we need to know our alpha our population standard deviation our sample size and our mean the problem gives us all of those alpha is just the um the confidence level the 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 um um, the complement of the confidence level. Okay, so if your confidence level is dot is 95%, your alpha is dot 0.5. Okay, um, you don't need to split it in half. So this actually eliminates one step that you would actually have to do in the Alex calculator. It's not a big deal, but um, if you get confused on that one, then the spreadsheet you know should be a little bit more self-explanatory. So just use your alpha in this one. So if we go back to the problem, okay. It wants 99% confidence. So I'm going to write all this stuff down. All right, so it wants dot nine nine. Okay, our sample is 100. Um, our uh, mean x bar is uh, 103, and then our sigma, our population standard deviation, is 39. Okay, so those are all the pieces of information that you need in order to do this problem. So let's uh, head back over to the spreadsheet here and punch all that junk in here. All right, so alpha, uh, since our confidence level was dot 99, so our alpha is dot 01. Population standard deviation is 39. Our sample size is 100, and our mean was 103. Ta -da. Hit enter. It gives you your final outcomes here, which is 113.0 uh, and 92.9. And if you want to get really lazy here, you can actually uh, take these down, <laughs> and it'll round it for you if you don't know how to do that in Excel. There you go. So 113 and 93. So uh, let's go ahead and kill that guy. I'll go back here. 113 and 93, we got the exact same answer. So you can do it either way. You can use the spreadsheet or you can use the um, um, the Alex calculator. Both of them are absolutely fine. Um, whichever one you find easier, if you don't have access to Excel, then that kind of eliminates a choice for you. But regardless of that, there are two different roads to the same destination. So I hope this video helps, all right? So if you can get this one right, just about all the confidence interval ones will be very similar. You're just going to use different tabs on the spreadsheet or different buttons in the calculator. Same concept all the way through. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, ping me. Otherwise, we'll see you in, video, in future videos. Take care now. Bye.